You are listening and watching to a very special podcast. All right, y'all. Here we go. We're continuing more on Randy. Enjoy. <laughs> Randy Kerr and the girls found themselves into a big problem. Well, it all started when there was this beautiful girl with nice long legs. But she seemed to be in a bit of a bitter mood. How? Well, Randy approached to her and tried to be nice, saying, Hi, miss, she said. I'm not a miss. I have a name, the woman said. Randy took it back for a moment. Well, geez, I'm sorry. I, I was just trying to be nice. I don't know your name. <sighs> My name is Verona. You can call me Vera, but I doubt you would even remember. Then she turned away. Randy was confused. Hey, miss. What's wrong? Why are you so angry? <laughs> Why don't you just leave me alone? It wasn't until that time Karina stepped forward and said, Hey! This is a nice girl here. You don't have to go and be rude. What the heck is your problem? She said. <laughs> Why don't you just back off, bitch? Karina gasped. She was about to step forward. However, Randy stopped her. Hold it. Forget it. Leave her alone, okay? <sighs> Fine. But if she says anything else again, I'm going to be very angry. Then she stormed off. Randy said, look, I don't know what's going on in your life, Vera, but you don't have to be so mean. I'm just here to help you, that's all. But if you want to find me, you know where to look. The agency of Evermore. Vera's face dropped. She looked at her. Wait, you're an agent of Evermore? She asked. Yeah. Vera looked at her. You don't look like an agent. <laughs> yeah, that's what everybody else said. They're like, oh, you're an agent? You don't look like an agent. You're too beautiful. Are you? <laughs> nah, not really. I don't mind the compliments. But hey, <laughs> it brings food to the table. But listen, I'm Randy Kerr. I'm from the Agency of Evermore. If you need me, just holler. Then she walked off. Vera felt a little guilty. And she called out, hang on. That made her turn around. Vera walked over and said, I'm sorry. Um... I'm just going through a hard time. I just... However, Randy nodded. It's okay. It happens to the best of us. You don't need to bad talk about other people or be mean. If you're having a hard time, just say so. But I understand. It must have been hard. Yeah. Just then, there was a big explosion coming from behind. Randy and the others managed to react immediately. Randy managed to catch up to the person who ever did this. And Marina was right beside them with hers, saying, Senorita, I believe you saw this too. Yeah, no shit. What the heck's going on? Could be a bombing attack. That's when Vera managed to stop the person. She called out, holding the gun in her hand, saying, Hey, whoever you are, come on out, now, she demanded. There was no response. Randy said, My name is Agent Randy Kerr, and I have here with me Marina Lear, another agent. If you're responsible for this, come on out, now. She demanded. Come on out, whoever you are. 
Marina said. It wasn't until they heard slow footsteps coming out. They saw the figure raise his or her hands. But when he got to the light, Randy was surprised. It was a boy. Holy frijoles. It's a guy? Randy couldn't help but say, Wow, he... Well, isn't he a baby face? But why... Why would he... I don't get it. Vera was frozen in her tracks. This guy? <laughs> Cute. Wait, what am I doing? She thought to herself. The guy looked at the three girls in front of him and said, Woman, huh? Well, in that case... He must have triggered something with his weapon because he took off, but Randy managed to come up to him. Stop right there! I know who you are! Lucy, help me out here! She cried out. Got it! She called out. She used one of her keys. She managed to open up Taurus. Taurus let out a roar. I'm gonna take you with me, even if it hurts me, but it's all for Lucy. Yeah, yeah, just go and do it, please. Lucy said, a little help here, Taurus. She said and winked. Lucy cried out, don't you dare encourage him. But that meant to get Taurus' attention. But this guy was faster. He blocked Taurus' axe and took him on with a good kick. He seemed like he was trained in some sort of martial arts class. He didn't even use his hands, just his feet. He must have had pretty good legs. It was crazy. Randy was awestruck. Lucy couldn't believe it. <gasps> Woo! That was amazing. The guy just simply took a nice bow and said, thank you. But then he glared over to Randy and the others saying, sorry, I wouldn't even fight a woman. That would be just not part of my own code, he said. Your own code? Then he said something that shocked Randy and the others. And I don't think it's nice for a woman to fight against a man. Randy couldn't believe it. Urza was angry. How dare you? You must think women shouldn't even fight. Yeah, that's right, he said. Vera was angry now. You son of a bitch! Everyone cried out, Vera! Vera, don't do it, Randy said. But she was too mad. She tried to fight the guy with such feisty attitude, but she was upset. You no good son of a bitch. What kind of person are you? You're such a freaking sexist. You know that? Women can't fight? Well, they can if they want to, but some women like you shouldn't even fight. What, you want us to just sit back and just care about our fashion, makeup products? I don't think so. Well, it's for your own good. And yeah, I do believe so. <gasps> you are going to pay for that. Try me, he said. He threw down a small capsule, which exploded in smoke. That's when he was gone. Well, where'd he go? Oh, this isn't good. But everyone was still fuming over the fact that he insulted them. Insulted the fact that women can't even fight. They were all really upset. Well, that wasn't a nice way to say. How dare they? Carla said, I know. Man, why does he have to go and be so mean? She said. I still can't believe it, though. 
Why else? There is nothing wrong with that. The Soul Society would care less if there were men and women fighting. But why would he say that? Rukia said. <clears throat> I don't know. Now that just really kills the mood of fighting. Why does he have to go and be so mean? What's wrong with girls fighting? Hmm, I don't know, Levy said. Kana was just drinking a whole jug of alcohol, but she managed to say, I don't know, maybe he lost somebody dear to him, she said. I hardly doubt that. If he did, he wouldn't have to go and say this sexist stuff. Jeez. Anti-Semitic against women. Ugh, I find that really terrible. If Maggie heard that, she would have had a fit, Randy said. Urza shook her head. Yeah, she would. I know her well now. <laughs> yeah, she would probably do that. Well, it's a good thing she's on our side, but not in our team. Uh, I would never want to hear her rants. <laughs> Look who's talking. You have your rants. I mean, no offense. Urza laughed. <laughs> yeah, but I have loosened up a bit, haven't I? She said. Lucy agreed. Yeah. I mean, sure, you, you're still getting mad if we ever try to accidentally punch you or do something. No, no. <laughs> well, I still do that, but over the little smallest things, they don't bother me now, do they? Yeah, you're right. But if w there was something of a formal of a matter, I would get upset. Yeah, you would. Lucy and Ursa were discussing amongst this. And luckily, Ursa didn't even get upset. Randy was surprised and called her out on this. I mean, after all he said. Like, you're still not mad at him? No. You have to understand. Maybe he's definitely hiding something. I have to agree. What he said was not very, very formal of him. Maybe he's trying to protect us? It could be a different reason. I don't know. I don't like his attitude. Vera was clutching her weapon in hand and said, If I ever see him again, I'll kill him. I don't think so. Why not? Are you guys seriously going to feel sorry for him? Well, you know, there's a lot of hate going on in a lot of this world. A lot of, well... A lot of things against race, color, gender, it's not so big so much anymore, but it still is a problem in some areas. Karina agrees. Yeah, she's got a point. I mean, that whole stuff with sexism and racism still is going on. And I'm glad you guys don't have to deal with that. Well, <laughs> not really, but... I guess when people brag about being stronger than us, that's when they'll make a big mistake. <laughs> but, um, no, nothing like that. Karina smiled. <laughs> Man, you guys are really lucky. I guess nobody will ever hate the great fairy tale now, now that they learn their lessons. Yeah, just because we know how to fight, that doesn't mean we have any hate and Thing towards others Lucy said true to that Lucy true to that Randy said thank you so much for listening and watching see you next time